Okay, I finished my schedule. Um, actually, wait a second. I finished a bunch. Let's see what I have in them. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Hello everyone, my name is Balu and those are my sketchbooks. Today I'm gonna show you a couple of my sketchbooks I did in 2020 and take you through the tour of all the sketchbooks, at least some of them that I've done in 2020. In the year 2020, in this awful year that we know as a 2020. Yeah. Let's change the camera view, okay? Okay, let's see. I have a bunch of those here. Oh, well, um, well, oh, well, by the way, um, you won't be seeing my uh, fancy taste. I know it's heartbreaking and you will be sad, but that's not the thing you should be watching right now. That's this is my most recent. This is my, my most recent sketchbook I finished. This sketchbook is one that I asked on Instagram if I should have done last um, sketchbook challenge for the 2020. It's basically if I could finish sketchbook in one month. And as you see by the titles, can you see? Can you see the? Yeah, focus, focus, please. Focus group. Yeah, as you can see by the dates, I started it on six of December and uh, finished it on 18th of, of December so instead of doing it in one month I finished it in 12 days which is actually my new personal record and the last sketchbook fastest sketchbook I've done was in two weeks in 14 days so I I managed to pick my record by two days that's good okay I'm gonna save this for blast because I don't wanna start with the very last sketchbook let's let's start with the most the oldest one this sketchbook i started in 21st of january in 2018 that's an old one and finished it in may of 4th of may uh let's see let's see let's see let's see let's see what i have here okay so yes so this sketchbook i've skipped when i started the sketchbook when i started this sketchbook i was surprised are they racing also? Anyway, when I started the schedule, I skipped a couple pages because I don't know. I wanted to keep them for like good drawings, you know, the typical artist stuff. Those are actually in done in either April or May. I think it was the last couple doodles I did in this schedule. But the very very first sketch I did in this one was this guy. It's Sognum, I think. Was it Sognum? Yeah, it's so gnome my character. I made an illustration out of it. You can check here. Yeah, here. Some of the characters. Man, I, I have no idea what I was thinking about when I was sketching those guys. Uh, especially this one. Depression. It's just, this should be supposed to be woman. Well, oh, 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 fuck. What? Okay, hand coming from his ear. Is it, well, um, is it a hand or his ear hair is turning into a hand? But you, I mean, you decide. Uh, this was, was actually inspired, inspired by uh, the Bloodborne, I don't remember, monsters, creature, don't remember. Hey, another one, Sogwen. Yeah, he's a younger brother of Sognum. I actually really like this guy. I need to work more on those characters. Yeah, he has one hand missing. <laughs> Camera died. Whoops. As I was saying, I need to work more on, on those characters. I still need to make two more brothers. Oh my god, this is old as... I was trying to make something out of random scribble lines. <laughs> I sketched my old sketchbook. Yes, I did. Hey, that's me. Well, yeah. I think myself as a well wait yeah now it's done sherry i think i have no idea what i was thinking what's um what's this <laughs> i have no idea how this oh these are 
this was done by my friends from Arabia. I was in a summer camp, artist camp, and I met some friend children, not children, they were my, my age or older. Um, I met some people there, and yeah, they wrote some stuff in my schedule. I have no idea what's written here. And I will never know. I was trying to draw Rick Jaws. Another of my weird ass characters, which I have no idea. It's all oh, October, oh, 2018. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, chicken. You? Oh, yeah, I'm feeling you, Batman. I'm tired. Bro. Don't ask me. I have no idea most of the stuff came from where. I have no idea. Oh my god. <clears throat> this is. This is really. Oh, actually, I like this one. This is really old. Really, really, really old. 2018, not too long ago, but yeah, this is really October stuff. I was trying to use the brush pen. Hey, that's good. I was trying to use brush pen, and you can see how successful I was. Mimic! Yeah, I love you. I actually drew Mimic in 10 different styles. If you haven't seen that video, well, shame on you. Those are all oh, the hammer ideas for my um, homebrew weapon for my DD campaign. Some more ideas. I think I did not come with the, any of those. I was designing sword. I was making a card design. Yeah. Have you seen those cards? Yeah, neither did I. Neither have I. Some emblems. I need to sit. Wait. Oh, oh, I just realized they are named. Paladin, Druid, Warlock. And yeah, here is... This is like... Honestly, those pages are my favorite pages because I was trying to practice in line quality as well as practice some circles. And this is mostly boring stuff. Yeah, like you don't do those stuff because it's too boring. You rather draw more some characters than do this. And honestly, the fact that I did those helped me a lot in, in the future. Those are actually in done in either April or May. And I was doing this every single day. I was actually told that I could not draw cylinders and all ellipses. So I just took the whole month just doing those. I filled page by page by page some brush pen practice. I was trying to get better with a brush. Some cubes for perspective. Because cube itself is hard. Some more circles. It's, you see, I was every day from 10 a.m. to until 11 a.m. I was doing just this. Just one hour of consistent circles ovals cubes you can see how many pages it's like yeah it's all of this schedule okay what else what else what else i don't want to go through every single one let's go with the big one so this is fourth oh no oh no no nothing <laughs> i thought i did this in 10 days but i realized that this is june and this is july well okay so this schedule comes right after this schedule so Let's go through this sketchbook first. Oh my god. What I have here. I probably know what I have here. Jack, can you see? I probably know what I have here. Mostly because some more practices. Again, daily practice, daily morning practices. I was looking at the uh, references on Pinterest and trying to decipher where ribcage and pelvis were. And you can see it was not easy some page i was waiting for this sketchbook to come so that's why i was doing not in sketchbook but on the uh printed paper there's like hundreds of those oh my god <laughs> and i was doing this in a ballpoint pen because it's not forgiving media and once one line is there cannot do it mate you cannot and this is a bit boring as well but more you do the better you understand how can you uh, create your own figure. So I suggest you do that. Just take a reference on Pinterest, like find the human pose, any pose. Start with the simple ones though, like normal standing. Don't go really hard 
<clears throat> and try to see where the rib cage and pelvis can be like uh, here it's really disproportional S rib cage is not as big and pelvis does not look like this even in the box shape both of them are not in right proportions but i was just studying i was learning at that time so making mistakes is good it's good it's good it's good more circles because i cannot help myself some posing perspective not too bad not too bad i mean there's honestly a lot of those uh, okay let's see what we have here honestly it's gonna be a lot of yeah again you can see it. yes you can see it. Again, some rib cage. Ooh, easy there. Rib cages, some poses, gestures in ballpoint pen. Ballpoint pen. This was probably the best decision I ever made. Um, if you don't know Ahmed Aldori, he is a phenomenal artist, and he made this challenge called Hundred Heads Challenge, and I tried to do it. And it's basically in ten days you have to draw hundred heads, so ten head a day, and I was trying to do that to get better with portraits and I did is the okay let's because the old ones should be here here's the old ones and yeah here's the first 20 here's the 19 here's like first 10 here's the first one you can see the first one yeah you can see it. so as soon as I started doing this you can see how ugly it is and I was about to give up uh, I was talking about that in my 100 head challenge video it's right in the description if you want to see it yeah I'm not gonna stay and talk about this one for long you can watch that video but honestly if you want to get better with the heads just do this challenge it's gonna help you a lot some more gestures I think I was doing 200 gesture challenge something I came up myself not bad I did a lot of those pencil and trying to use a paper method for the face construction Let's turn it around turning the box as a head around in every direction to see what i can see in different angles that's a good exercise i should do that more oh and this is like five months some more Head challenges, head portrait, more, and some compositions, more of them. Trying to put obliques. Here I'm going to the end of the challenge. This guy is probably my favorite. This, those two as well, they're cool. <clears throat> There's an empty space. Why? And last 10 and on 100 i tried to draw the same one again as the f i did for the first one some more gestures because gestures are never uh, never enough to do you should do more gestures like when you warm up every day just do gestures 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 are essential for everybody uh is brush pen at yeah, it's still that 200 gestures I think I was doing. You can see I'm, I'm improving a bit. Improving, improving, improving. Some uh, heads from imagination. She looks weird. Uh, more, more gestures. 130. Yeah, 130 here. Some head from imagination. Some intense uh, anatomical studies. Not intense, but yeah. Writing down the names because I wanted to memorize and I know couple, not every. Still some gestures. Oh my god, there's a lot of gestures here. I should. Okay, let's see anything really interesting better gestures gestures yeah, i'm about to hit 200 yeah 200 gestures then we moved on hands i was doing a lot of hands actually i was uh, in cafe while doing those and it was so weird i was looking at my hand and drawing and people were like um what is he doing some icons for the work i had to design some icons for the work more hands let's see gestures i was designing my character from dnd the half orc and Kinda he looks like me, even though I don't have that kind of cool hair. More the fact I don't have hair at all. Some outdoor sketching near the uh, lake. This is some Bridgman studies. I was attending the Marshall Vendroff's Bridgman course. 
and some gestures for there deciphering bridgman which is really hard and i suggest you learn anatomy first then go bridgman get going it's gonna be a long video actually analyzing 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 some outdoor sketching more closing cafe drawing drawing who's this who's this i can wait who's this somewhere bridgman i really enjoyed this class it was so fun and i learned a lot actually i'm attempt i'm trying to get into other courses from marshall in 2021 yeah that's all that's the end of for this sketchbook uh you know what i don't want to make this video too long so i'm gonna show one more old and end it end with um let's go with the big one so i don't have to take those back here from my shelves and i'm gonna end with the newest one okay let's see what we have here 250 box challenge yeah this is really good challenge if you want to learn how to do cubes or boxes um try 250 box challenge actually it's harder than it looks but uh, it gets way easier from time to time some portraits i was trying to put down a base outline with the copy marker and then go into with um and i really like this guy some more some more, some more sharpie i was trying to do it with the sharpie and think more at less it's some of so much stuff here is boring because like drawing boxes okay Draw circle, okay. I usually mostly use my sketchbook for studies, like um, more so than I really like this guy. Not bad, though. I have tendency to draw eyes too big, even though they fit proportionally. Still, still, and though until these days, I still have that problem. Line of action. I have no idea what this is. Um, some more head studies. In here, we get some portraits. Simplify for portraits. Some of those were actually live sketching. Wait a sec. Hey, Stefan Silver. He, I was watching his video. This one was from the reference and I changed her to look more like something else. And I tried to recreate her in diff from different angle as well. And that's really good exercise. If you want to uh, push yourself a bit, try drawing something you see and then try draw drawing same thing from another angle you learn a lot i should do those kind of sketches myself a bit more some more portrait sketches some references some live sketches i drew my friend and, uh, do, 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 do. what was this i was on a meeting at my work and i was trying to listen but ended up sketching like faces again my co-worker she was bouncing like left to right and it was it was hard to sketch her but managed to do it jaza though it doesn't look like jaza what else some more gestures more gestures some more head from imagination like this guy tried to draw myself and like but why yeah i mean why oh uh, the hell i have no idea what i'm writing here some more voice sketches some anatomy anatomy and then my dnd character and his right mechanical hand oh i was i'm a i i love ravens a lot and i was sketching them for like i don't know how long Quite long some more live sketches i like this one and this one and this guy he's cool more ravens because as i said i was obsessed with ravens 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 caw, caw, motherfucker. i want to have a, I, I like this i want to have a raven as a pet okay um what's this um musician side is oh yes this is really good um challenge it's an according yeah. so basically what you do is you draw something in eight minutes then read wait a second okay i guess i don't have it here okay so basically what you do you draw something for eight minutes then in four then in two minutes then in one minute then in 30 seconds 15 seconds 10 seconds and five seconds. and honestly starting from 30 seconds it's like swearing a lot because you cannot manage to do anything fast enough but you learn what you use eight minute and four minute and kind of two minute sketches to understand what you're drawing and rest is like using only stuff that is in essential 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 same with the eye four minutes why was i starting with four minutes like eight minutes for four. what is it i think i remember it wrong do the around may give your hands some freedom i like those kind of uh practices whatever comes comes some more uh bridgman stuff still uh do 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 and you can see how my gestures improved from the last sketchbook 
I mean by a lot I, I'd say that by a lot I really enjoy doing doing gestures now it's my one of my favorite things to do I'm wedging if you are interested in how to do gestures let me know in the comments below I'm gonna I'm gonna explain in a how to gesture maybe using wedging those are styles that no one actually sees and it's really weird that I'm showing because the sketchbooks mostly are like diaries and no one sees them like no one even in if someone's looking at me i'm trying to hide what i draw because it's kind of personal i don't like when someone sees me i like this gesture some line of action line of action is really important a longer gesture study i don't know character <laughs> more icons and what's doing for our work uh brush pen no idea more heads drew my friend drew my friend drew myself drew my friend drew my friend this hand looks like oh, oh my how dare you ugly <laughs> no idea who it is my friend i really like how it's doing eyes here what happened to me something went wrong no idea who it is no idea no idea no idea some, some quick sketches some quick sketches more gestures anything interesting or just hey horses horses from imagination i have no idea how i was doing this but hey and uh, that's that okay if i continue with every other sketchbook i'm gonna take like whole hour so i don't want to do that so let me just show you my last sketchbook from 2020 and we will stop there <clears throat> so i started it on 6th of december finished it in 18th of december and right from the get-go just some hand anatomy studies some wedging understanding the muscles and but understanding the planes how they wedge their form more bridgeman i was calculating how many pages should i finish in a day to finish 60 page sketchbook in one month uh, <clears throat> we all know how that went more hand gestures understanding the parts of hand and how they're connected handy handy hands are hard the hands and feet are hardest parts a human body and if you can draw them real well it's okay because it's hard even uh, even the accomplished artists say that it's hard to do the hands so don't you worry do 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 some pen sketches warm up trying to get better with the line using sharpie for the circles some more gestures simplifying them as much as possible hey i was playing D, &D and used my sketchbook for the hp counter and stuff this was actually two weeks ago dip, dip, dip. uh what's here what's here I'm using sharpie until it died to shade Again, Sharpie hand studies. Think more, put down less. Handsy, handsy, handsy. I like those. Again, trying to figure out how much I should do. I don't know what this is. Figuring out the character's pose I wanted to draw. One day I'm gonna make video about her. Yeah. Wings. I don't know, I just wanted to sketch some wings it was like 2 a.m no 2 p.m no 2 a.m yeah it was 2 a.m i always miss that up. some oh and anatomy some serious hand anatomy for the chests and uh understanding how triceps and the back muscles and all that goodly 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 stuff some more anatomy seeing different uh, muscles in different poses and different angles mm. understanding that bottom of the chest is on the same level as a uh, connection of deltoid with a uh, bone some more bony gestures from andrew loomis 
really good source to study. Uh, do, 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 do some poses from memory. Some more uh, bone studies, uh, arm studies. I love the arm. I don't know why, but I really love this. This shoo 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 the movement and flow in uh, arm muscles. Some leg muscles. The naming. A lot of anatomy, for sure. For sure. More warm up. What do we have here? Some. Oh my god. When you're not warmed up, <clears throat> when you're not warmed up, after warming up, Jesus, studying face, uh, more like skull and how eyes are set by studies, own skull studies, seeing the proportions where and what is set. I was planning to do how to draw head uh tip, 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 tip. how to draw head video if you're interested i uh, can explain with the simple shapes how to build the face some more like this call Ew, creepy uh, do, 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 do. some andrea loomis techniques which are really good some lips Ooh, kissy kissy Bushes, warming up, some compositions and deciphering. I was using Magic the Gathering art to uh, study their compositions and see how and what was done and decipher it to see what is behind and to know what I can use for myself. Like here, resting, there was like this, I don't know, know what was the scene, but I think it was a city and this was lava. Uh, it was a combination of resting place. It was not too detailed. Then it was a detailed layer where the city and the buildings were. And then was like this field uh, as a resting place. So rest, detailed rest, uh, really good composition some more than writing down everything that i've learned from those paintings to use a dynamic view to have an air for breathing in different places like i remember there was one precisely that i want to find out. yeah here he in the painting there was like gaps and that was like air for breathing um <clears throat> have negative shapes of course use details to guide eye like i think here there was a dude hanging then the chains were like point making you to look at the character they were there not to just fill the space but to guide your eyes and that's really good uh method uh, rhythm R rest in place, detailed rest, detailed. That's something JC Leindecker uses. A really good source to study. And here are some compositions from my memory. Not memory, from imagination. While watching Jazza, I tried to use everything I've studied there for those using the shapes cutting, some air, different use dynamic angles use details to guide our eye and so on and so forth some of those i really like here i tried to use those details as a guiding to focus on this intense practicing with my brush pen because i want to get better with a brush pen uh, and actually it's really easy way to fill your sketch and that's the final sketch of uh this sketchbook actually those are some of my, those were some of my uh, sketches, sketchbooks I've done. I started a new one three days ago and filling it a bit and by bit by bit. So yeah, if you uh, like this, hopefully, I asked if people were interested and they said yes. So that's why I'm making this video. If you're interested in other sketchbooks, because I have like one, two, three, four, <gasps> wait, <sighs> Those are my rest sketchbooks from this year. If you're interested in those as well, you can tell me. I'm gonna make a sketchbook tour number duo and show what I have in those. 13 day sketchbook, yay! Still not record because I didn't. If you like this video, by the way, 
five <laughs> back to my face if you like this video like it it helps with the youtube algorithm comment down below if you want to see more i as i said i have a couple more sketchbooks laying around and i can like really old ones maybe from 2014 or 2015 uh, i recently saw them myself and i was like what the hell was i doing there subscribe always appreciate it if you like we are close to hit 250 subscribers like 22 maybe 21 i don't know 22 subscribers away from that goal so i wanna hit that if possible until the end of the 2020 share with me pictures of your sketchbooks old ones new ones future ones on twitter i you will see all my socials down below and yeah uh this is gonna be the last video of 2020 it was a huge enjoyment starting youtube channel and doing all of those videos i've done this month this year not month i know it wasn't too much but i had fun and in 2021 i'm thinking to continue this roller coaster and just do more videos as, as much as possible i I wanted to do a couple more this month, but I had small technical difficulties with my drawing tablet, so yeah, I had to skip last week. I'm still waiting to get my tablet fixed. In 2021, I'm gonna continue more. I'm gonna try to pull out videos as much as possible, and I'm hoping you will be there to watch and to go on that journey with me. If not, that's okay, I guess, as well. I hope 2021 will be much better year than 2020 was for each of you. Hope you will achieve more than you did this year or any other past years. And because, as I said, this is going to be last video of 2020, all I'm gonna say now is Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Thank you, everyone, and until next year, I guess. Bye. Ooh.